I just finished reading day 22 and <laughs> I love God. I love his uh, purposefulness and um, what I believe is his sense of humor. As I was reading this <clears throat> devotional today and she's talking about Abraham and him having to um, sacrifice Isaac and why it was so seemingly easy for him to just obey um, and not ask any questions to God, at least none that are um, written in the text, in Bible, in the Bible. Um, it's so funny because literally yesterday in my Bible study, I was studying uh, Genesis 22 uh, and I had started here and actually really only got to uh, verses one through two because I got stuck where it says, um, so basically God uh, tempted Abraham and said unto Abraham, um, or sorry, God, so basically, let me do the Jamila translation. This is the, uh, what is this? This is the King James um translation here but the Jamila translation is uh basically God called Abraham and uh by his name um and Abraham responded I'm here and then basically God tells him take his son Isaac literally the son that he had been praying for and his wife had been praying for that they had uh tried to make God's will happen themselves using uh, Hagar um, to bear Abraham uh, a son in Ishmael. So all these years in their old age that they had been waiting and waiting and waiting. And now God says, take your son that you love basically and uh, sacrifice him in the mountain. And the very next verse in verse three, it just says Abraham got up and put on his uh, saddle on his donkey and basically took his son uh, and what he needed to, you know, make his way there, um, took the wood he would need and went on up to the mountain. There's literally no nothing between verses two and three that talks about um, Isaac asking any questions. And so literally because I had just read that yesterday and I stopped there and did, was really just kind of contemplating the rest of my, um, time with the Lord yesterday on how seemingly easy it was for Isaac to do that. Um, and all of the reasons why. And then today in this Devo, she talks about basically because of the things that Abraham had been asked by God to do before that he did um, and he <clears throat> saw the result of, he just immediately obeyed um, and trusted. And it doesn't mean that it was easy for him, right? Um, I don't know what was going on in Abraham's spirit, but I can imagine that it wasn't easy. But at the end of the day, um, I love how she just talks about that our past trials and our past um, challenges and our past um, learnings all basically make us new every day and help us to complete the work that God has for us to complete um, being more and more ready. One of my favorite things that I underlined here in red, she said, is in God's providential care of Abraham, he'd readied his faith. And so I just thinking, I've been thinking here, sitting here thinking about how much um, God has readied my faith. And it's something that's exciting um, and I, it encourages me, absolutely. Um, but it also worries me because I'm like, "Woo, Lord, you've done a lot of things to ready my faith. What are you readying for, uh, readying me for um, next? And so my final kind of thought after reading this was just, um, I was thinking about how she was talking about, uh, you know, morning by morning, um, day by day, that there are new mercies. And I was uh, sitting here kind of humming the songs uh, in my head, and I just wrote a new me each morning I see. So I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this day 22 um, and any thoughts that you have um, on Abraham um, and his faith being tested uh, in Genesis 22, 
uh, one through three and his just ability to just immediately um, obey, even with something so precious to him as the son that God blessed him with. 